intro it out. Skip it back, do. It's the trivia section, even though it's just a bonus. Don't you wanna own us on the slave lot? Yeah. Awkward transition time. Yeah, so now on to Freddie Mercury's special treat. The Rudy Land first annual Oscar Spectacular. Ba da ba ba da ba da 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 ba ba do. Shamity boop boop boo. So, we've got ten categories here from we're the Oscars. We're gonna pick each one, I presume. We got ten categories, and we're gonna start out with original score, my friend. This we both love music. Tough. Yes. We both love music. So, I've got the nominees here. Um, what a bullshit statement. Who doesn't love music? Well, there's people who just don't listen to music. They're just like, eh, whatever. Okay, fair enough. And I don't like those people. Um, so, anyway, we got... Uh, Fucking bigot. <laughs> we got Hans Zimmer for Dunkirk. Didn't see it. Uh, Johnny Greenwood for Phantom Thread. Didn't see it. Alexandra Desplat for The Shape of Water. Do you, are you sure that's how they say her name? It's a dude. And uh, John Williams for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Isn't John, is John like Williams his, like, still alive? Oh, yeah, dude. It's like his like fucking 75th nomination, okay. too. Uh, and we got uh, Carter Burwell for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I haven't seen any of those films. Except for Shape of Water. Except saw. for Shape of Water. I can't so, pick Dunkirk because Hans Zimmer, I'm getting real tired of fraud, that huh? fucking... You don't like him? I'll tell you this. It works in doses, but when you get that fucking... The fucking a, super bass it's a every weird time. Score. Very weird only mad score. for a fucking like sort of British yeah. classical resistance movie. Yeah. So uh, where we'll you? go. What else was there? John Williams Star Wars. We'll go since I saw it. Shape of Water. You're going I like the score. Water. It was good enough. Yeah, the score for Shape of Water is pretty good. Um, if you had seen this movie, you would have picked it guaranteed. Uh, Johnny Greenwood for Phantom Thread. Yeah. Uh, Phantom Thread, really cool. What kind movie. of score? Um, it's like a mix of classical, and it's also got some kind of like an undercurrent kind of, um, almost electronic a little bit. But it's not, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost ambient. It's, I like, it's really good. Because I really, really like classical score. music. You don't have to, you don't need to add this electronic. It's, it's mostly just, most classical, and it's really well done. So, um, and now we'll go on to... What do you think, what do you think of one Phantom Thread? Phantom Thread? Th Phantom Thread is really great. And the more and more... I like have distanced myself in the film. I think about it more and more. See, I really that's the thing about it. like Paul Thomas Anderson, Same Martin Scorsese, Stanley Kubrick, the yeah. Coens, whoever made Three Billboards. It's fucking. Yeah. You see those movies, you don't want to forget them. You want to sit and talk about them. Like we were struggling to remember shit to talk yeah. about. So, um, next category we got is best cinematography, and we got uh, Roger Deakins for Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Didn't see it. Uh, Bruno Delbano. Uh, for Darkest Hour. Didn't see it. Hoyt Van Hoytema for Dunkirk. Didn't see it. Rachel Morrison for Mudbound, which is on Netflix. See Mudbound? <laughs> no. Mudbound or Mudbound? Mudbound. And uh, we got Dan Lawson for The Shape of Water. So what do you feel? I mean... I can honestly only pick Shape of Water because that's all I've seen, but I can't, <laughs> can't because I hate guess. the movie. Um, uh, Roger I want to pick Dunkirk because I oh. like the guy's name. Hoyt Say it again. Hoytman. 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 Hoyt van Hoytema. Hoyt van Hoytema. All right. Well, um, there's yeah. only one person here who should win this movie. Uh, we should win this award, and that's Roger Deakins for Blade Runner 2049. Did you like Blade Runner 2049? I fucking love Blade Runner. You didn't Runner. like that's, the original, right? The original... Um, there's elements that I like. It's yeah. not a detective movie. That's that's my problem. Is this is a detective movie? Okay. And the most interesting part of the original Blade Runner is um, uh, not Decker. What do you <laughs> think was the Rudger? Yeah, Rudger. Rudger uh, Rudger's great. Um, Darkest Hour has good cinematography. Dunkirk is. Did you, know, you like Darkest Hour? Um. Oh wait, never mind. Just hold up. Yeah, we're, we're getting off topic now. Don't try to derail the Rudy train. It'll fucking roll you over, motherfucker. Choo, but, choo. um... Yeah, Darkest Hour has really good cinematography. I am still the Emperor. That's from a earlier recording that you're hearing later. <laughs> Welcome to time travel, guys. And, uh... Ben Mendelsohn's really good in, in Darkest Hour, too. Yeah. He's got a really good... Uh, so I haven't seen Mudbound. That's the only one I haven't seen. 
And the reason why I when can't... When did Mudbound come out? Quite a few months ago on Netflix. I've heard it's pretty good. I'll get around to it. But um, the reason why I can't say Shape of Water is because Guillermo del Toro, like, color corrects his movie, like, five to six times. It did and... have sort of a super bright, cartoony yeah. sort of... Whereas feel. with... Uh, with Roger Deakins, he tries to get everything in camera. Yeah. He shoots all the Coen's movies. He's he's fucking amazing. Like he deserves this. You well, know, it's about time he gets it his depends, fucking Oscar. It depends what you're going for. Like Del Toro's could work if it's you know the right kind of movie. That's all it did. If you saw Blade Runner twenty four eighty nine, you'd be like, it's fucking it's, it's gorgeous. Did this? Do you were you impressed by cinematography in the original? Yeah, I like the ne. I love neon lit shit. Like that's I just love I just fucking love miniatures. <laughs> I really love miniatures if they look good, because then it actually looks real. Yeah. There's, there's the cars and stuff. So, we'll go on to the next one, which is Best Adapted Screenplay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, James Ivory for Calm. I pick, I pick the uh, <laughs> Turner Diaries. Oh, the Turner Diaries, yeah. That must be in the PS section. <laughs> Anyone who knows what that is will get the joke. Nobody else will. Yeah, I didn't get it. Uh, James Ivory for Call Me By Your Name. Uh, but FYI, guys, <laughs> I'm not a racist. That was just a joke. I picked the most, the worst book, probably one they wouldn't put into a movie, an Oscar-winning movie. Uncle Tom's Cabin? <laughs> you, you don't know what the turn. you got to look up Turner Diary sometime. Um, we got uh, Scott Neurostetter and Michael Weber for The Disaster Artist. Did you uh, like Disaster Artist? I, I did. It, it's a it's a fun movie. It's it's not perfect, but it's worth a watch. I don't think you need to see the room before I. I, I haven't I, seen it yet. I but it's I watched. On YouTube for free. I watched uh, the other really bad one, Goblin, but it's Troll not, Two. Troll Two. I haven't seen it. I, I just watched it on a that. whim. I've never I never intended to see it. It was just on TV, and I was yeah. laughing hysterically. Yeah, I'd recommend uh, Disaster Artist. It's got some funny stuff in it, and James Franco's good. Um, Next, we got Scott Frank and James Mangold and Michael Green, story by James Mangold, and the movie is Logan. Did you see Logan? Yeah, yeah, I saw Logan. Yeah. I like Logan. Well, I, it was a refresh. It was refreshing. Yeah, the first half is fucking great, and then I hate the second half for it. It's a real got, movie. Got, uh, got super. It got kind of, kind of lame at the end. Yeah. Second half. Yeah, the first half is just fucking great. Um, then we got uh, Aaron Sorkin for Molly's Game didn't see it yeah molly's game is actually pretty good i enjoyed it um and then we got mud uh, we got uh, virgil williams and d Rees for mudbound we'll have to go with seen. um the one that i saw logan logan yeah there's, there's a lot of people kind of clamoring for logan and honestly i think it has a comic it could book win. ever won as an adapted as a screenplay no yeah i was no. gonna say i doubt it would um so out of all these here Man, it's tough. Molly's Game, what is it about? Uh, it's about poker, actually. It's oh, yeah, you story. told me. It's about, uh, yeah, she uh, yeah. runs poker games in Hollywood. It's it's a pretty cool movie. I like it. If you like poker, you'll love it. Um, so, I mean, this is a really tough category. Does watching celebrity pick. poker reruns on Bravo for years count? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, thank um, God. I honestly, I, I, I think this one's a toss-up, really. Yeah. Well, you were fucking making you said, picks. Pull, yeah. get, fucking pull your fucking balls you know out what? and make a fucking picky. I'm going to go with Molly's game. I'm going to go with Aaron Sorkin. Yeah. I'm going to give it to him. He's a great writer, great playwright. I'll give, him, I, I'll, I'll give it to him. Uh, and then we have Best Original Screenplay. Okay. We got uh, Emily V. Gordon and Kumail Nanjiani for The Big Sick. Didn't see it. We got... <laughs> Didn't see it. <laughs> I, I did, you know, um, I did didn't, didn't and it's happen. really good. It's a romantic comedy, and it's really fucking good. You see the um, famous Indian actor, comedian guy? He's Pakistani. Pakistani. He's fucking racist. Guy, yeah. I'm a bigot. <laughs> no, I'm a bigot. There's, asshole. there's a. It's good. It's good. It's really worth watching. Fuck it's on you, Amazon. Sharmuta, come on, and see it's on, me. It's on Amazon Prime, so watch it on Amazon Prime. Don't got it. Uh, no, I'm asking. I'm telling the viewers, you dumb fuck. Well, what the fuck does that mean for me? <laughs> I mean, this is about you. me. Fuck, fuck these. you right fuck. off a fucking bridge, motherfucker. Fuck these guys. Um, <laughs> they don't got the magic pussy. <laughs> um, then we have Jordan Peele for Get Out. You saw that uh, one? Yeah. 
Yeah. I could see that. That was yeah. good. I yeah. love the screenplay. Yeah, it's overrated. Uh, <laughs> Greta Gerwig for Later Bird. Another movie totally overrated. Didn't see it. And we got uh, Guillermo del Toro and Vanessa Taylor. A story by Guillermo del Toro. Get out. Shape of Water. Get out. Shade Get of out. Water. Get out. And then we have, last one, uh, Martin McDonough for Three bo- Billboards Outside Get Ebbing, out. Missouri. Yeah, it's uh, 100% uh, three billboards out of, yeah, outside. I didn't see it yet. I totally on seeing it. 100 fucking percenters the Oscar. Martin McDonough is a great writer. Is it super... Uh, so what happens is no, from... Dude, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not telling you anything. You just got to see it. It's okay. good. I honestly... I want to see it again. I'm going to fuck it. I want to see it. Go see it again, honestly. Perhaps you'll hear a uh, movie talking about yeah. three billboards. Who knows what the future All right, holds. So now, now we got the big headers. We're going into the acting category. We got uh, Best Actress in a Supporting Role. All right? <laughs> I pick Dame Judi Dench in yeah, whatever you, role. Judi Dench and Victoria and Abdul. <laughs> I pick the lady in Wonder Woman, Go Gadot, because I really dig her arms. This is hits. supporting. <laughs> um, so we got Mary J. Blige for Mudbound. Didn't see Mudbound oh, again. I try to walk away, but I choke. I try to walk away, but I stun. I try to. Here we go. Here's here's one you have seen. That's not Mary J. Blige. That's that other lady. <laughs> we got Allison Janney for I Tanya. We saw that one. Uh, that one could definitely share. Yeah. Right we now. We got uh, yeah. Leslie Manville for Phantom Thread. Didn't see. She it. was she was good in that. Um, Lori Metcalf for Lady Bird. She was really good in it. The acting in Lady Bird's really good. Just. There's way better coming of age movies, and Octavia Spencer for The Shape of Water. Jeez, she was awful. She in it. she was not good. She, she's a good actress. She's yeah. not good in The Shape of Water. She was like a hucking and jiving fifties black mm. lady. Yeah, she was religious Whew. one second, but then she finds out that mm. she's mm. fucking the fish, and she's like, "Ooh, you, you get go, your girl. you get your fish go, dick, how baby. Did, how does that fish dick come out? <laughs> <laughs> it was flat. It was flat. <laughs> it was a man's mom on it." <laughs> All right, so now we got uh, best actor. Oh yeah, we didn't even give our picks. Yeah, come on, motherfucker, hold your fucking All right, horses. so who, who are you picking for best actress in a supporting role? Uh, Allison Janney. Allison by Janney. By far. Yeah. Um, it's th- this is. I'm it's, kind of surprised she got nominated for an Oscar. It's like a. Nice, she's good. It was. She's she was good, good but she's it's like a smaller it. movie. Yeah, you know? I wouldn't see it happening. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Allison Janney. Uh, I I liked her in it. She's got. You know, she just got great man. Despite all the parrot. skating stuff, there was some really nice characters in that yeah. movie. So we're Everybody both going. Was pretty good in that movie. We're both going with Allison Janney. Yeah. So I now, Tanya, cult yeah. classic. Pick yeah. it, guaranteed Thanks. it'll be. Um, now we got best actor in a supporting role. We got uh, old William Dafoe. We got a. Uh, what was he in? Oh, uh, the Florida Project. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't even I've, heard of I haven't it. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's. Kind of one of those poor exploitation movies, you know. Wait, poor exploitation. Poor exploitation, you know. People who are just living in fucking, you know, w- you know, Waller and fucking sorrow. So and we just Defoe. look at it, and you're just like, oh, they're poor. Look at them. They're so, so fucking Willem poor. So Willem Dafoe is super, Willem Dafoe is super poor. Basically. No, he owns this hotel where all these poor people live at. Oh. I heard it's really good, actually. Um, then we got Woody Harrelson for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. He was in that. Yeah, he's really good. More. Uh, Richard Jenkins for The Shape of Water. Which one was he? <laughs> he's the gay dude in the apartment. He was awful. Yeah, he's fucking terrible in it. I don't care what you say. He sets gay You're people out of back fucking years, mind, man. Yeah, it's, it's, if I was a gay dude, I'd be embarrassed oh, by him. It's a caricature him. of somebody gay. It's a fucking caricature of yeah. a gay dude. It's awful. At first, when he first shows up, I'm like, wait, are they together but he sounds yeah. kind of gay mm, and he's kind of old give me that key lime pie let me let me draw my pictures uh, <laughs> <laughs> you uh little method actor there uh freddy yeah yeah um then we got uh christopher Plummer for all the money in the world I haven't even heard of that one either yeah uh, kevin spacey was in it and they had uh they reshot the movie to cut him out of it and oh. Christopher Plummer's good in it. He's, uh, he's was it a good movie? No, you, it's it's very forgettable. It's, do you think it would have been better with Spacey? No, but if you just look at the makeup on Spacey, he looks like he's got a fucking rubber mask on. It's awful. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, and then we got Sam Rockwell for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. He was in that too. Yeah, he's. I love Sam awesome. Rockwell. Yeah. He's usually dude, he's usually. You ever seen dude, Moon? Yeah, of course. 
Of course, I've seen fucking. I like Moon. Moon was good. He he was. That's an acting showcase. Was that movie? Yeah, yeah that's it's all him. Uh, Surprised he didn't. Did he get nominated for an Oscar or win anything actually, for it? I don't think he did. He might have, but I don't think he did. Small uh, movie, like see, like I Tanya. It's a small movie. Yeah. You know, sometimes they just I don't know. Don't get so, noticed. So, uh, where are you falling on uh, best actor in supporting role? Uh, read to me again. William, not Christopher Plummer. William Defoe for Florida Project. Woody Harrelson for Three Billboards. Richard we'll go Jenkins. Sam Rockwell. He's young. He probably hasn't won one yet. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with Sam Rockwell. I haven't seen any of those movies. Um, you saw Shape of Water. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> sad that, but I'm not happy that I uh, saw it. I think it's kind thing. of a toss up between Sam Rockwell and Woody Harrelson. I think most really people like that movie, huh? Yeah, when I when I first saw it, I was like, "Yeah, it's good." But then, like I said, the more the more the days went it. on, I kept thinking about it. And when people keep talking about it, I just want to revisit it. We've seen a lot of movies that are forgettable, yeah. unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Sam Rockwell too. You know, I, but I think Woody Harrelson could he could win it. Hopefully, they don't split the vote. You know, and, and I wouldn't. Now be, you're talking like a Russian. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We right. need the vodka, so we need what? I'm sorry. I just, I noticed small things, and I said, like in the theater out loud, I said, bliss, bliss, <laughs> right after she did. And now we got uh, Best Actress in a Leading Role. We're going to Leading Role now. We got Judy to... Dench. Or no, 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 <laughs> Janet Reno. <laughs> Janet Reno. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water. Which she well, I thought good she might have been French or Spanish. She's a straight she's, American lady. No, she's British. Hmm, okay. She was in Paddington, which makes Paddington. <laughs> you'll never look at Paddington. She did okay, way. but it's just like she, <laughs> she's good in it. She has to express a lot nah. without speaking, and I think she she's good in it. What well, you know, it, it's nah. it's a whatever. I love Guillermo, but it's it's whatever. Um, then you got Frances McDormand for Three Billboards, uh, and you've got uh, Margot Robbie for I Tonya. And, You're just uh, all about the Russia today, man. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Are you a Soviet uh, fucking spot? Are you a fucking we'll Red Sparrow? Because I'm not into it. Getting okay? that Russian mail out of bride. She's coming in any day. <laughs> <laughs> With that magic that's, pussy. That's what I learned from this movie. Get that magic pussy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cerise Ronan for Lady Bird. And, uh, this is kind of embarrassing. Like I, I haven't seen none of these. <laughs> none of them. You saw Shape of Water and I, Tonya. And uh, Meryl Streep for the Post. Oh, geez, is, I wonder who's going to win it. Yeah, uh, well, who are you going with? Meryl Streep for the Post. She wins. She doesn't have a shot now. Doesn't have a shot. In fucking she's hell. Meryl Whatever Streep, and she was in a movie, and she's nominated. She doesn't have a shot now. Okay. Uh, it's going to be Frances McDormand for Three Billboards. You say that now, we'll 100%. see. One hundred percent. There right. would be riots in the fucking streets. Oscars I, is about playing the game. She plays the game, obviously, I'm telling man. You, I. If she does, I'm never fucking watching the Oscars again. I've never, I've <laughs> never personally watched the Oscars. Yeah, uh, and I don't plan on it. You don't need to. You just look at the next day. You just look and yeah. see who wins. Um, but uh, yeah, Frances McDormand is fucking phenomenal on Three Billboards. Love her. She's always really, she's, she's just always solid in everything I've seen. Class right? act, just great actress. Um, married to a to a, a to Jew Joel apparently. <laughs> Yeah, she's married to Nothing wrong with that. If you've if you got any kind of inflection for me saying that, maybe there's something wrong with you. And uh Seek now Rudy we, Land Counseling. <laughs> now we got uh best actor in a leading role. We got uh Timothy Chalamet for Call Me By Your Name. What the fuck is that? Uh it's a gay love movie. Ooh, that reminds me. <laughs> Anyone who, sees, <laughs> anyone who sees the preview for the new gay love movie... Love Simon. Love Simon. We were, we were the only ones laughing at the trailer. There's one quote in the mo in the trailer <laughs> that just out of context, nobody... I never caught it until you brought, like said it. I, I just, like, oh, yeah. I'm sitting here with it's my re retard brain thinking about it. He says, one of the first things he says, I'm a normal <laughs> guy, but I have a big ass secret. Oh, gee, what's that? You've been getting railed in it too many times? Yeah. Yikes. Your big ass secret. Yeah, big ass secret. Please, um, I'm sorry. Continue <laughs> with the important Oscars. Yeah, they the have Oscars. nothing to do with gay sex. Um, we have uh, Daniel Day-Lewis for Phantom Thread. He'll win. And we have uh, Daniel Kalula, uh, Kaluuya, whatever the fuck. Let me name. see his name. Uh, Daniel Kalula. 
Kalula or whatever it is. Kalula. He's the main guy. He's Get English. Yeah. He was on an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah, that episode sucked. Why Black Mirror sucks. Yeah. That's it's like around. a shitty it's like got, a shitty Twilight I got, Zone. I got through the first two seasons and like a couple episodes and a third and there was a couple good episodes. The only good episode for me, the first episode, yeah, Prime Minister fucking a pig. By far the only shocking that and good so episode and for me. Like, this sucks. Because it was shocking, right? It's shocking, but it's not good. I loved it. Because yeah. that's what I'm... If you you're gonna, you some pig fucking. If you're going for a new Twilight <laughs> Zone, <laughs> Twilight Zone was shocking. You know? You gotta have something that's fucking in your face. This is the best Oscar prediction special ever. <laughs> gay sex. Gay sex. And pig then fucking. what were we talking about? Fucking pig pigs. <laughs> so then we got Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour. Speaking of fucking pigs. <laughs> Would some... Did he wear prosthetics or was it CG? Yeah, it looked... No, it was all prosthetics. Did he do good? He's he's, he's good. He's, did he... Re, was it a case where he really carried the movie? It was his Oscar bait movie? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's his Oscar bait movie, but, you know, he's, he's okay in it. Uh, and then we got Denzel Washington for Roman J. Israel Esquire. Roman J. Israel Esquire. Yeah. Wasn't that... Is uh, the guy who directed uh, Nightcrawler did it? I was really excited for it. Did you see it? <laughs> yep, I did. You didn't like it? First half's okay. Second half's shit. What's it about? Is it? It's about uh, Denzel Washington plays. Um, uh, he's like a. Uh, he's a lawyer, and he's got like Aspergers. Oh. And um, he's at this company. He's like a genius, but he's behind the scenes. And, and it reminds me of that Adam dies. Sandler Jamie Fox movie, which I never saw. Adam and have Sandler no context and for. Jamie Foxx were in a movie together? Yeah, it was after 9-11 or something. Uh, that was Don Cheadle called Rain Over. Me. Don Cheadle, pardon me. <laughs> Jesus, Jamie Foxx, Don Cheadle. Well, they all look the same, eh? <laughs> uh, I tell you, my true colors are shining through. Uh, so who are, you, uh, who are you going with for best actor? Day Lewis. No Day Lewis? Yeah, um, Day Lewis should win. Uh, he's already got three Oscars, so he's not going to win. Um... Do you think uh, it'll be uh, Kakulia? Nah, I mean, the wolf, I mean, with the sign of the times, uh, they'll probably give it to him. But uh, Gary Oldman, you know, whatever. I don't care if he wins, but he'll probably win. But I, Daniel Day-Lewis should. It's his last movie, and he's better than everybody here. So, yep. Uh, now we got best director. We got uh, Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk, Jordan Peele for Get Out, Greta Gerwig for Lady Bird. Paul Thomas Anderson for Phantom Thread, and Guillermo del Toro for The Shape of Water. I'd like to say they finally give it to Paul Thomas Anderson, but they're going to give it to del Toro. Yeah, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Disgustingly, they're going to give it to a smut-peddling, bestiality <laughs> enthusiast. Goddamn yeah, Spanish um, pig fucker. It's, I mean, Phantom Thread... Uh, is it's good, man. And Paul Thomas Anderson shot that movie, and his cinematography is fucking amazing in it. Uh, but it's not flashy, and you know, I mean, Christopher Nolan does a lot in Dunkirk. I didn't really like it, but there's technical achievement there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're probably right. Guillermo's gonna win it. I, I don't think he should. But it's he's sentimental. Win it. He's the foreign. They're gonna give it to him. I think. It's it's. Who did it's you political. say was gonna win Best Actor? Uh. I said Gary Oldman will probably win it. Okay. But th Denzel, they might give it to Denzel. I can't, not a chance I can't ever give Denzel an award because he's only good in one movie for me. Uh, training Day. Every other movie plays the same guy to me. So you see, Listen, training here, here's Training Day. You ready? We're talking about lesions. We're talking about AIDS. Let's talk about lesions and AIDS. <laughs> that was my experience during Training Day. Yeah, Ethan Hawke's great in Training Day. Yeah. Um... So now we got the creme de la creme. The best film of the year. We're saving it for last. The best one. The big spectacular. The money shot. We got Get ready to jizz, picture. boys and ladies. Ladies, yeah, so get ready to get put your lady those diapers out. on. Get that lady wood going. <laughs> we got best picture. Your couch is about to be soaked. Get ready to finger in a tub. Made you uh, pussy. Um, you ever see that? Do you remember that scene from Howard Stern where he makes that lady? He no. has that lady sit on the speaker, and turn the bass way up, and he's just like. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. The Howard Stern movie, uh, Never Private, Private Parts. Parts. Never it's saw good. It. It's all right. It's a better biopic than fucking I, I, Darkest I, Hour, I bet. Biopic. It's interesting. Yeah, no fucking biopic. Uh, so we got uh, for Best Picture, we got. Call Me By Your Name, 
I don't know what that Darkest, is. Darkest, it's the gay love movie, okay. I told you. Uh, Darkest Hour, uh, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water. A lot of fucking movies. Yeah, three billboards outside Evan, Missouri. There's mine. I want to say Get Out, but I don't think they're going to do it. I want to say Get Out because, um, yeah, exactly. But I thought it was good. I like, you keep saying totally overrated. I kind of liked it. I thought it was good. It's a, fuck, um, it's a horror movie for people who fucking don't like horror movies. Fuck that movie. Yeah. Hated it. Fucking I thought it was garbage. interesting. The Sunken Place. I thought it it's was a Twilight Zone episode. I thought it was refreshing. It's the Stepford Wives with black people. Yeah. That's it. I still haven't seen break. either Stepford Wives. Yeah, well, what else was there? Not The Post. Because you told me that was bad and I'm willing to bet it probably wasn't great. Yeah, the post is steam power shit. Not the Gary Oldman movie. So let me see the list. Point me to enlighten me. Edify me, please. Um, Get Out of Dunkirk. Or the gay one. Call me by name. <laughs> Call me by your name. Uh, so what are you going with? Come on. One of those three. Um, Make a choice, motherfucker. I'd like if Get Out won. Because oh, then God. at least... All right. Best picture? Well, what else every is fucking there? B movie that's ever been made should have won a fucking Oscar. That. <laughs> every fucking movie John Carpenter made from '88 and below should I'm have on, won a fucking Oscar. I'm on board with that. Fuck that, dude. Fuck I'm that. I'm on board with that. That's total bullshit. We'll Pisses go with uh, we'll go with Dunkirk. I'd like to say if it's not Dunkirk, it's the gay movie or Get Out. Yeah. Guarantee. I'm gonna go with Three Billboards. Um, it's either going to be throw billboards or shape of water. See, whenever it's that obvious to you, that's when they're not going to do it. That's when yeah. it's always something then else. Then they're going to throw the curveball and they're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, but is three yeah. billboards getting the kind of Oscar buzz that you think it is? Like, is everybody else saying it? I think it's... everybody's behind shape of water. Which I don't understand. Yeah. I don't really get it. Like, I get I what it's about. I understand what he's tr what he's saying with it, but it's just... Yeah. You Michael can't, Shannon's great. <laughs> you can't paint fucking a fish creature in any kind of positive light in my eyes creature. as soon as you it's imply creature it from the black lagoon but they fuck as soon as you imply it's free willy with benefits oh, free willy. and uh as soon as you bring it's that in it's black it's game over for me it's just an extension of creature from the black lagoon. what about you i'm going with three billboards but i think probably shape of water is gonna win okay yeah. was three billboards the best movie you saw this year no what was the best Last movie year. Last year? What was the best movie you saw last year? Um, well, what was my favorite movie or what was the best movie? Both. Give us both. My favorite movie last year was Baby Driver. Okay. Loved Baby Driver. Um, best movie? It's it's between Wind River and Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. It's tough. I, I really loved Wind River. It's my kind of movie. And, and Blade Runner 2049, I, I really fucking loved. So... I would say the best movie is between Wind River and Blade Runner 2049. It's tough for me to say. My best movie of last year is Watership Down that I from 1984. <laughs> I didn't see many movies. No movies last year that I saw really stuck. Just the new much. movies that I saw yeah. stuck out to me. I don't even remember any, honestly. Hmm. I saw that Jack. I remember seeing the John Wick movie, and I was as dis not disappointed. John Chapter but Two. It's not. The first one wasn't good to me, and the second one wasn't good to me either. Yeah. I didn't really like them. I bought The Raid the other day at Best Buy. What? Or Both two. of them. Two is fucking I love amazing. the first one. He likes the second one better. I like the first. I love... I, not even close. I it's like hand-to-hand -hand fighting way more than gun stuff. It's not even close. Mm, it's your opinion. I am fucking close, man. It's your opinion. I'll say, uh, give me some movies that came out last year. Some, uh, that I may have seen. None of this fucking indie bull... This fucking hippy-dippy bullshit movies that came out last None of year. this you gotta wear a dress to get in and see <laughs> shit. Okay? <laughs> so what'd you say? Kong Skull Island did you see? Didn't see it. Wonder I saw Woman? Star Wars. I didn't see Wonder Woman. Star I Wars. hate... I'm so what? sick of superhero movies. Never mind. I didn't see I did see Rogue One. That came Rogue out last year. Rogue One didn't come out last year. Oh. Uh -huh. Did it? Maybe it did. I don't know. It must have. I fucking hate Star Wars. It sucks. Yeah. Fuck Star Wars. Fuck you if you like Star Wars. Disney released the like originals. It. Fucking sucks now. In five point one. Ruined it. They fucking ruined it. Ruined. They fucking ruined it. The man. Canadian. They ruined it. The Man in Black. Freddie Merck. You can't even hear us. You can't even hear us. None of you can hear us. 
The rain's too loud. How shitty would that be? <laughs> I would, um... How much you want to bat? <laughs> I'd be mild... Awful. I wouldn't be too upset. I'd be mildly upset, yeah, honestly. Ask your spectacular. All right, give, uh, give your guys... Give your guys yeah, give a them. magic selection. What are we going to pick tonight? Give them... How about good spy movies? Let's list some good spy movies for I people. already gave them away. I mean, go ahead if you want. Uh, yeah, all right, I got you. Gonna, That's right. Good I'm going to give... Uh, I'll give one old one and one new one, and let's switch. So my first old one, I'll go with uh, Three Days of the Condor. With Robert I Redford. haven't seen it. Yeah, Sidney Pollock. I got afraid it would be cheesy or just no, at it's, the time. It, it's pretty good. Um, it's definitely got that kind of, you know, Nixon, you know, rollover of, you know, the times of Watergate and stuff like that. But it, it's a cool spy movie. Robert Redford and his prime. That's an old one to check out. It's based on uh, a guy, I believe he was Portuguese. It was called Something the Jackal. Andre the Jackal. Yeah, the Jackal? That's a different movie. Well, there was an actual assassin called, like, Something the Jackal. Mm -hmm. Carlos the Jackal. Yeah, maybe you're right. I uh, watched some random special about it. My first will go Spies Like Us. It's <laughs> Dad, right? typical 80s comedy. It's not... Dry. You gotta, you know, be news. paying attention. It's, you know, it's goofy. It's silly. I like that kind of movie. Nice and easy. Yeah. Or uh, if you can count it, the Pink Panther. Any of those? I just keep rotating the what same movie. Pink Panther, a spy movie? No. That's no, not a spy movie. Nah. So you, well, what'd you go with? Damn, Spies man. like us. Spies like us. So Dan Aykroyd. Steve. Okay. Not Steve. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. You know, they, they're they both idiots who get enlisted into spy work yeah. in order to be decoys, so. Yeah. Obviously, mayhem ensues. Every time you lie, I cut off a finger. <laughs> that was one of the guys. I don't, I'm pretty... I feel like that was in a movie. That was in Spies Like Us. It was? Really? Yeah. He's, ah. like, threatening him, and he's like, every time you... If you don't talk, I cut off a finger. <laughs> now I need to rewatch it. It's it, that's crazy. No, hilarious. There's no real movies that I can think <laughs> yeah. of that like I'm laughing every I'm ten watch seconds. It and I'm just gonna be horribly disappointed. Yeah. Oh, it's man. a good six seven movie. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Good like Training Places. It's like that guy yeah. subdued. I don't think that all about. It's but right. uh, for my last pick, I'll go with uh, the Man from Uncle. Came out I a couple saw years like ago. the first half and it started glitching out. Yeah. I, on my uh, Netflix <laughs> or other legal internet <laughs> streaming service. Very legal services. Um, really well shot, gorgeous colors. Um, kind of more of a return to form for Guy Ritchie. Um, I liked the first. I definitely liked what I saw. Yeah, it's it's a pretty cool movie. Um, really enjoyable. Sadly, it didn't do that well. So. But um, that that's a new spy movie I'd definitely Who recommend. Who was the American in it? Uh, Henry Cavill. And yeah, Army I was going to say that. Army Hammer, he was the Russian. He was the Russian dude, yeah. They have this uh, Roberta Flack song. I got the record not too long ago on there. It's fucking awesome. Compared to what? Yeah, a great soundtrack. <laughs> Guy Ritchie's always good at putting good music in it. Reminds movies. me, he's like English Tarantino, just not, yeah. as, not as adept at putting together a film. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Lock, Stock, and Snatch are really good. Yeah. Really fucking good. But, I think uh, Snatch is better than a lot of Tarantino movies. Yeah? Yeah. I like Snatch. There's a... Rock and roll is Frenetic good, pace to it. Certain, yeah. There's like an energy. Kineticism. Yeah. I'm a fan of Guy Ritchie. But now he's... He's got a completely big blockbuster now, which is sad for me, but... Still you didn't like Sherlock Holmes 1 or 2? I actually liked the first Sherlock Holmes, but... It's okay. Game of Shadows, I did not care for. Yeah. I thought it was the same... It all felt the same to me, so it's yeah. like, it's the same movie for me. Yeah. For me, <laughs> I'm just saying... So what's your, uh, your your last spy pick here? I'm trying to think of one, but since we brought it up, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Yeah. It's one of my favorite movies. The dude who made... One of um, favorite movies, really? Like, yeah. All time? It's just how well really he... It. It's a real big ensemble cast. All the English heavy hitters you can think of at the time think, it came uh, out. Do you think Gary Oldman should have won an Oscar for it? Yeah. If not Gary Oldman, then uh, Mark Strong. David Strong. Yeah. He was incredible in that. Mark Strong was fucking incredible in that movie, man. Yeah, I need to rewatch it. I just remember being... 
I felt like it was so glacially paced, but it is. Well, it's just, you know? yeah, they're give, but it's not useless information. Yeah. The things that they're talking about are important. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's what a spy movie really needs. You got, it's got to be chock full of information. Any insignificant thing may be important later. This movie had, like, they show her stealing the cup. They show, um, is at it? training school, her getting trained with the fluorescent goo, but... I mean, it's obvious that like they're I'm... just showing it to you so that they can set it up later. It's got to feel organic, you know. I, I it's got to be. When I found out who the mole is, I, I was like, "Wow!" I, I really figured that was who it was. Yeah. I wasn't shocked. I was I was disappointed at that. Too. Yeah, I wasn't was. shocked, but I was I was disappointed. I was, I was like, like, "Why Come does on. it have to be him?" It was Why? like a, it reminded me of a Law and Order SVU episode yeah, because that. that's what they do. If there's a big name actor, he's the killer. If it's a big name actress, she's the if, rapist. If they're in like a real small role, you know they're the killer. Yeah. Yeah. So, those are our good spy movie picks. Yes, I um, I plan on practicing my espionage skills. Langley, you know how to find me. Contact Rudy the Jackal Land. Care of this recorded message. Please. I can be an efficient killer. I have or haven't killed before for a government or non-government agency. This is awkward. I'm trying to take it somewhere, but I had nowhere to go from the, the start. <laughs> um, one, two, three, funky cheese. <laughs> <laughs>